some uh, uh, some rumours in the in the V8s. Mm, and, so yeah. last week, uh, basically, we went over the Stanaway news where Richie Stanaway was officially kicked out, or uh, he was told that he was leaving the team or parting ways with the team at the end of this season uh, for a young Kai Allen. Yeah, uh, which we didn't have on our bingo cards. We were expecting him to go to DJR, but DJR seemed to be too slow with catching Kai Allen. Yeah, it looks like Grove has stolen him. But um, great I think signing today. Oh, yeah, fantastic signing! Great signing. Um, it's that's going to be a killer team next yeah. year with uh, Matt Payne and Kai Allen, the two uh, young guns. That's a strong pairing. Extremely, and I'm I'm so I'm so excited to see how that goes. But and that car is really good. Obviously, Townsville with the strategy that they had was sensational. Um, with the eight second lead, oh, chef's kiss. Um, but uh, today, uh, Peter Addison actually apparently I think came out. I don't know if this is official or not, and said that uh, he will be doing a wild card again, like the boost wild card that we saw in 22. Yeah, with Richie Stanaway and a another New Zealander. Um, and I thought this was a really cool idea because you, this, as soon as I read this, I instantly thought of Triple Eight's idea as uh, Lowndes and a young gun. Yes. But what if New Zealand had one with Stanaway, who's now experienced, he's a Bathurst winner, yeah. Sandown winner. Um, he's had many years in supercars, maybe not as successful as he hoped, but uh, he's got that experience. And he, obviously we saw him in F2 years, years, years ago. Um, but imagine if New Zealand had a, a, a team like Triple Eight did with the has a mentor with a young gun. That'll be fantastic. That'll be that'll be interesting to see who who will take that that mm. spot next to him. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people in Super Two right now are going, "Is it me? Is it me? Like, I'm available. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> can we do it?" Exactly. That, that'll be that'll be very very interesting. Uh, very interesting. And so, when is that likely to happen? The wild card for uh, next, next year? year, yeah, for next year. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it's like a one. I don't. I think it's for the enduros because obviously we're going back to the enduro cup next year with the three events. Hopefully, yes. And um, that it hasn't been announced yet, but it's more likely going to be the case with the Ben Sandown and Bathurst. Yeah, which is going to be really cool. He doesn't want to leave the supercars, does he? Like no. he wants to stay. He wants his exactly. presence there. I reckon he would um, do a lot better in a wild card. Role, like an enduro role instead of a main game. Sorry, role. so sorry. I meant the uh, the founder of Boost. Oh, Peter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He doesn't want to leave. Like he's got a lot of opinions, uh, but he wants to stay and he wants to make exactly. a difference. So, um, it's great to see him support drivers. He supported a lot of drivers over the years. Um, he still does. He, he you know, he does the pole position awards and all mm. that. Um, I think he just, you know, like all entrepreneurs, he has. He's a strong opinions and he wants change. Well, the thing is, right, you love or hate him, right? He, he's a very controversial person, but you don't see many people these days who are like owning the companies and just having a say, like actually yeah. saying what comes to mind. I, I agree. And it's actually a nice breath of fresh air, um, especially supercars. They do need a lot of changes. Uh, I personally love the sport. I love the formula, but, it, you know, I can see that it's, not in a great spot compared to what it has been in the past. Yes. And we need the likes of Peter Adderton, for example, um, to basically kick that off the ground. Yes. Um, and if you saw, um, I'm going to promote another podcast here, but uh, Scott, Scotty Pye's Apex um, United, I think that's what it's called, their, their, their podcast, they had Peter Adderton on, uh, and they had a not a I highly recommend checking it out because they have a great conversation. They did. Uh, talking about the whole thing. And they talk about the whole um, Brody issue as well and all that drama we, we will not get into now. No. But, uh, no, it's I'm, I'm so excited to see uh, Boost come back as a wildcard team. That'll be great. Uh, he, like you said, he carries so many um, young guns up the ranks. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see who that, um, that teammate will be. But